okay, you didn't like Scream 6, I liked it. Right. Now, I don't think, like I said, I don't think it's the best movie in the franchise, but I very much enjoyed it, okay? But here's the thing. I have, this is two ideas. Scream 7 could be really entertaining, like on a cruise, where they're stuck and confined to a cruise ship. Also, too, what if it took place in a giant, like, European type castle and it was confined into that kind of environment? The cruise idea is more realistic because that's more modern and would make more sense for younger characters to go on a cruise. Yeah. Here's a suggestion. This goes to me wanting to see Stu Mocker, Matthew Lillard come back. I was actually kind of hoping they would do that on Scream okay, but, 6. But originally, the, Scream 3 was originally supposed to be that he was the orchestrator for killings that were happening. He was the mastermind. Really? For Scream 3? Yeah, like he was a cult leader and he was orchestrating, oh. you know, kill this person, kill that person. And it would reveal that he was the mastermind. I think that they should go with that. Don't you think the cult theme would be so cool and appropriate? like in an underground dungeon of one of these like ancient medieval castles. Don't you think that would be so cool? And that throughout the movie as shit's getting crazy, there's just a nasty thunderstorm going on. Well, just like the, paint, the haunted just house, paint, like haunted castle kind paint, of thing. Just paint this like lovely mwah, to just like old fashioned horror, you know? It, the one thing that I can, with playing devil's advocate is it would be so far away from the origin of the roots of the original film, which is basically, it's a small town. The root of Scream is that it takes place in a small town. Mm -hmm. The choice of the franchise is either you evolve or you die, essentially. Yeah. I think one of the reasons why Scream 4 was an underperformer is because it was so close to and in and amongst these parody films that were still going on and it was still close to the that scary was movies. A big, that was a big raging time for a parody Right, film. between 2000 and like 2010, there were a Dang whole bunch movie, of, yeah, terrible. Movie. The market was still saturated with those films. And I think that the fact that Scream 4 came out during that time, lend it to, ah, is this, is, I feel like kind of embarrassed. I'm gonna go see Scream 4. We've already seen a parody, yada, yada, yada. And then, you know, what is it? Like seven, 10 years later, Scream 5 comes out and there's been a breathing time and the parody films are now done. So it allowed for the market to come back to those movies again. We've all, yeah, we've also re come full circle to slasher being cool again. My generation, we were all little ones when Scream two, one, two, and three were like really cool and popular. Everybody yeah. was wearing the Scream mask and stuff like yeah. that. So I don't get, so I personally am a fan of Scream four, but I actually didn't feel like it was a very accurate depiction of high school life at that time. What like the people having a camera on his fucking head filming everything? Yeah, yeah. It was so heavy-handed it tried too hard also, to be hip and also too one of the reasons why i think it didn't was as successful is bro that's when paranormal activity had just come out the year before and paranormal activity was a fun horror phenomenon. found footage films were the that, that's actually the last movie to ever like stick with me for weeks that's why the film was doing that so you remember the security camera yeah it got really seen big. in the not barn a, not only did you have all that barn, plethora right? amount of uh paranormal activity sequels but then you had a lot of copycat found footage films after that but here's the thing there's not to say scream seven comes around by this point with the money that they're racking in, Scream 6, they're gonna come out to Scream 7. There's not to say Scream 7 is a banger. Maybe it's not. Maybe it will be. Maybe it will be. I'm a cinephile optimist.